And here goes nothing. Man, I'm gonna get hurt. That's right, you guessed it. That's my brakes making that sound. I'm not really sure how it happened, but either my disc brake pads or my rotors are glazed or contaminated, and today we are going to try to fix it. This sound is not only an annoyance to you and everyone else accompanying you on the ride, but it also means decreased braking performance and potential for crash and injury. I am going to try a product called Squeal Out. This company claims the product to be a rotor and pad resurfacing paste. They say that it eliminates the squeal chatter and hum by resurfacing pads and rotors to a non-harmonic surface. A friend had recommended this product to me and I purchased it on Amazon for about 20 bucks. I'll be sure to include the link below. I only have an hour or so before dark, so I may have to move this job inside depending upon how smoothly it goes. I'm going to use my bike hand portable bike stand and give the brake rotor a pre-cleaning before applying the squeal out paste. Due to time constraints, I'll only be doing the back brakes for this video. They are definitely much worse than the front. There is a warning on the product packaging to only do one brake at a time anyhow because the braking power will be decreased by 80% when using this on the rotors. I don't know if you can tell from the video, but the rotors do look a bit glazed. So I'm applying 91% isopropyl alcohol, you know, the strong stuff to a Scotch-Brite pad and giving the rotor a good scrubbing to remove as much of the glaze as I could. The instructions say to stir the paste before applying it, so I'm using a bamboo skewer to stir it up. Per the manufacturer's instructions, I am applying the paste with a rubber glove sparingly to the rotor. Next, they are saying to either hold the brake on while pushing the bike, or to ride at your own risk to make this stuff work. So I'm going to ride, at my own risk of course, with the bike in granny gear around the yard while holding the rear brake to see what it does. The brakes do seem to have gotten quieter, although I am still lacking braking power. The instructions say to wipe and rinse the rotor with more isopropyl alcohol. I suspect that my pads may have gotten some contamination on them, so I am going to take them down to the bike cave and see what I can do with them. So here I have the pads loosely clamped in the vise, with the braking surface sticking up. I am first going to scrub it with a little isopropyl alcohol, followed by a few strokes with the file. Sometimes if they are oil contaminated, you may have to hit them with a torch or heat gun to boil off the contamination. That will be our next plan of attack should this fail. Remember, when you install your brakes, some manufacturers such as Shimano XT have designated right and left sides of the pads and springs. Of course it got dark outside while we were screwing around inside cleaning the pads. But that's okay, I'll test it under the lights. And it looks like a success. Almost no squealing to speak of, and most importantly, I could not have locked my back tire earlier no matter how hard I squeezed the lever. And now it locks it right up, even on brick pavement. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below. Please help support the growth of this channel by clicking the thumbs up and subscribing if you haven't already. Click the bell to be notified of future uploads, and if you've done all of that or none of that, it's okay. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.